Hi everyone, welcome to Pharmacy Pearls. In this video, we'll discuss using NSAIDs in patients with COVID-19. NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, are a broad category of medications commonly used to treat mild to moderate pain, swelling, and fever. Ibuprofen and naproxen are two common examples and are often available without a prescription in pharmacies. On March 15, 2020, France's health minister, Dr. Olivier Verin, tweeted that anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen could be an aggravating factor in COVID-19 infection. He suggested that patients take acetaminophen or Tylenol instead and that patients already taking anti-inflammatory medications consult their doctor. So what gives? Why the increased risk with NSAIDs? Well, NSAIDs exert their effect by inhibiting the cyclooxygenase enzymes COX-1 and COX-2, thereby blocking the production of prostaglandins and thromboxane A2. This gives NSAIDs their anti-inflammatory, antipyretic, and analgesic effect. However, the COX-2 enzyme is also believed to be plentiful in white blood cells and required for the normal production of antibodies, which the body uses to fight infection, such as COVID-19. Indeed, NSAIDs have been shown to suppress antibody production, even at normal pharmacological doses, with ibuprofen having the greatest effect. On the other hand, some NSAIDs, such as indomethacin and naproxen, have been shown to possess antiviral properties. Some researchers have even proposed that naproxen could be a probable agent for control of widespread novel coronavirus infection. So which is it? At this point, unfortunately, there's insufficient evidence that NSAIDs negatively impact morbidity and mortality of COVID-19 and Health Canada continues to recommend either ibuprofen or acetaminophen for the treatment of fever associated with COVID-19 infection. Further research, especially prospective randomized controlled trials, are needed to determine the impact of NSAIDs on coronavirus infection. Keep in mind that retrospective studies are prone to bias from confounding variables, and may appear to show an association between NSAIDs and COVID-19 morbidity and mortality where none actually exists. For instance, patients may be taking NSAIDs for medical conditions that inherently increase their risk of more severe COVID-19 disease, in which case it's the medical condition to blame and not the medication. Additionally, many patients may be self-medicating their symptoms with NSAIDs like ibuprofen but only the patients with more severe disease present to hospital. So what should you do in light of this conflicting information? Well, here's a practical recommendation. We know that older people over the age of 60 and those with underlying medical conditions are at higher risk of severe COVID-19 disease. We also know that NSAIDs are associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular and kidney disease and should be used with caution in these populations to begin with. Because of this, it's perfectly reasonable to avoid NSAID medications in the elderly and those with comorbid conditions, such as cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, or chronic respiratory disease. Instead, recommend acetaminophen or Tylenol first line, and if an NSAID is unavoidable in these patients, use it at the minimum effective dose for the shortest duration possible. Thanks for watching. This episode of Pharmacy Pearls was brought to you by Rocket Languages. Learn a new language while driving your car for a fraction of the price of the big names. Get your free trial today at pharmacypearls.com rocket.